Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! History with Joe Gerlando. In today's video, Alex and I are going to be playing the 2014 Nationals format. I'm going to be trying my hand at Trap Tricks Artifacts with Curry Bandit. As we will see with some upcoming deck profiles, there's a lot of sort of third engines that you can combine with the Trap Tricks and Artifacts. Anything from Fire Fists to Hands to a lot of things in between. I've liked to go with the Curry Bandits. I think they combo really well with Soul Charge, which is such a powerful card. Call of the Haunted. Even cards like Breakthrough Skill. Alex said I have technically already played two matches before. He 2 owed me, I 2 owed him, and I will be having our third grudge match to see who is the champion of the 2014 format. So, we'll see what happens. Looks like I'll be going first. I've actually won all three of the die rolls, but that's a side topic. I wonder if he's going to comment that in the chat. Anyway, let's see what we have here. That's a solid open hand. Yeah. If I hit a, you always beat me in rock, paper, scissors, yeah. The perfect scenario here is if I hit Mermilio and Artifacts, like Artifact Moral Tech off of this, but we'll see. Uh, not quite as good as I wanted. Uh, both Soul Charges, so it's like get a Soul Charge or never. I can go Deanna, get Deanna, set Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, which is interesting. Hmm. So Ignition is basically the most powerful card in this matchup because it's such a spell and trap heavy matchup. Oh, I didn't know if I mentioned what he's running. He's running spell books. I guess theoretically I wouldn't know that if this was a YCS or Nationals, but we've played two matches prior. Oh, I should have set this too. Oops. I meant to set that. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't set that. You, you, you always just set that. He probably isn't going to be able to figure out what that is. But anyway, Ignition is an interesting one. Though I already do have one. I don't know if I should just get the Soul Charge. I feel like I should get Soul Charge because it's just the most powerful card in the deck. So I will. This deck doesn't have a lot of comeback cards, so I'm going to get the Soul Charge. Like I said, I can go Deanna and get Deanna next turn. And then I'll have Soul Charge with two level fours. Yeah, I have nothing to do here. I mean, the thing that I could do to this is Book of Moonit so that he can't use Spellbook of the Master, but that's that's not very good value. Yep. Yep, Crescent. So he gets a random Spellbook from his deck. So it's either Tower, Fate, or Wisdom, which means he definitely has Secrets in his hand already. I'll just wait to write down things once he's done all his searching. Yep. This is useful for him because it makes it so that the fate can actually hit for three, which is banish a card, non-targetable. Yep, there's the tower. At least I have the ignition. You can use ignition in the standby phase to make the tower second effect mistiming. Which is to special summon a spellbook from your hand or deck equal to the number of spellbooks in the graveyard. Yep. Which for him right now would probably be Temperance. So that's actually useful to make the Tower Mistiming. Unless you do it on your turn and then just attack over the monster, it's not as bad. But theoretically, if you were to Ignition on their turn, you would want to wait till the standby phase. Yep. So that's one that I will write down that he definitely has Fate. Yep. I will take my 500... Yep. So I could go Ignition. So this is Fate. Hmm. Like just going to double Beagle Tech on the board, but then he just Fates one, and I'm not in great position yet. Yeah, so I'm going to hold off. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. Mm, that's not a good draw at all. I mean, I feel like I'm almost pressured into just doing it this turn because I'm pretty much locked into special summoning for a while, but that doesn't... Oh, that's a bad draw. Hmm. In terms of level fours, rank fours. So 
I can go Deanna and get Deanna set the trap trick shop all nightmare. Try to attack. I could also go into Rhapsody. Ooh. That's not obviously what I meant to do. I can go into Rhapsody to banish something from his graveyard. So that is Rhapsody. There's also Giant Hand. Uh, Giant Hand's not the worst. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll summon this and I'll declare the effect. Ooh. And now I will attack. Hmm. That is interesting. I don't really want to summon another one, but I could go into something and kill the fate, or I could just leave these both on the board. I do have a little bit of insulation against Pell Book of Power, not much. This ball, like this is the definition of a little bit, of just the Book of Moon. All right, so we just established that I can't actually ignition, so I'm not going to get the trap trick trap hole nightmare. Like, so yeah, we like definitely don't want to make that mistake. So here off of this, we'll get a moral tech. Yeah, so the trap trick trap hole nightmare that last turn, we just realized, just asked him. Oh, that's annoying. The secrets there is good. So the reason we did that, obviously, is I can't ignition, and you don't want him to get the extra draw off tower, and I couldn't just ignition on my turn. I could have maybe ignitioned off of my turn, actually. That's interesting. Yeah, if I go like Deanna, chain ignition. Uh, I'm going to go chain book to that as chain link two. And if he wants to wisdom. He would have to call spells and I'm pretty sure this outs that if my understanding of this format is correct or this interaction. Okay. This also makes it so that he doesn't have a face-up spellcaster to use fate. All right. So I got moral tech and beagle tech. I draw another moral tech. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which would be seven if I went to exit on night versus basically the same so I could go into diamond dire wolf to kill that yeah maybe diamond dire wolf makes the most sense here this duality is just horrible do I just duality except that he's going to get the draw Put these two attacks that he can't power over them. Yeah, I think I do that. I guess I duality first. Ignition. I will get that ignition for sure. Because the ignition can kill the beagle tech, yeah. I will add that to hand. Put these into the deck. So the if this ignition goes off, it's going to be really good. Yep. Yep. 
So I'll be able to ignition, kill the beagle tech, bring out both of the moral techs. And then I'll have soul charge and call the haunted. I'll have all the engine pieces then. So we'll see if that ends up working out. Plus I'm about to chip away with some damage here. So interesting. So he has eternity and then fate set. Okay. Could wing blast this, but even if he wing blasts it, okay. Oh, yeah. That too. I meant to set that too. The having monsters in your hand that you need to set into the spell and drop card is just not something I've ever done before. So I like literally said out loud, I am going to ignition the Beagle tech to kill these two moral techs and then just didn't do it. But that is what I intended to do. Yes. Okay. Mage is good. Gets the tower. So he has fate, eternity, and tower. We think fate is in the back row from earlier. But fate, eternity, tower. I wonder if he'll fate right now. Probably not, but he might. To get back the master, maybe. I'm going to ignition and kill this beagle tech. Beagle tech will hit the board, killing both of the moral techs, killing the spellbook magician of prophecy. Okay, and it's going to kill this then. And it's going to do it as chain link one and chain link two to make it so the spellbook tower misses timing. To revive or research a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, level seven, which is priestess. Alright, we are going to use this on this. Okay. He could wing blast this though, and in which case, okay. I see, okay, yeah, that wasn't good. But at least his fate is gone. Three. Four, five, six. I guess I can go into Exiton Knight. Five, six. Right, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I think if he had Wing Blast, he would have Wing Blasted that. All cards on the field. Your opponent takes no further damage this turn. I see. All right. Well, we're going to go for it. This will at least put my moral text in the graveyard. Oh, wow, it actually went off. Cool. I can just do this again, though, right? <laughs> like, he can summon something, and I can just do this again. Because he'll have four cards to my... Yeah, that's actually hilarious. Okay. I will kill it. All right, now this old charge can be for one, two, three, four. I can get out Giant Hand Pallades, maybe. Seems good. Special, 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 special. Set to the Spell and Trap. Could go into Rhapsody too. Doesn't Rhapsody have a second effect where you can like equip it to something? Yeah, it's a cool one. I think I go into Giant Hand though to stop his thing. 
is what eternity for secrets and then I can stop the blue boy obviously his fate is gone yeah so I think what I want to do is go into Pallades big eye I feel like that's probably the best because that doesn't do anything, that doesn't do anything, that doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything right now. That doesn't do anything. Okay. And I'll go into these two, into Pallades. I don't think I have normal summon, so I'll just like normal summon Curry Bandit. And mill five. Uh, probably Sanctum, correct, right? I've got Moral, Moral, Beagle. Yeah, that seems good. All right, pass. I got 45, 64 damage on the board. Okay, Eternity, that's the one we knew he had. So he's going to get Secrets, yep. Secrets, yep. He doesn't even have any blue boys left, so he has to go into life. Okay. Life, yep. Reveal master. He's going to summon Spellbook Magician of Prophecy now. Can I Pallades this? I'm assuming if I play these, this, it just doesn't summon onto the board, but I am just going to check to verify. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, right? Yeah, you have to equip this card to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he has master in hand. What can master go do? Nothing really. I have to worry about temperance, but I have that covered. So I guess I'll do this. Okay. Yep. And then Deanna, how does Deanna work? But banish it during the end phase of your next turn. All right. Well, I guess it's there for one more turn. Has he used Mirror Force? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Mirror Force is at one. If Mirror Force is at more than one, then I'll be upset. Oh my gosh. All right. I'll bounce that to my hand, I guess. I guess Mirror Force is a more than one. That's weird, because my deck only has one in it. Yeah. Uh, we will sanctum that. Sure.
Here we are. That's what we wanted. Do I have a target? I think so. We have trap hole. Nice. Beat. Nice. All right, can I can always sanctum for Beagle Tech now and kill one of the trap trick trap hole nightmares because it's unlikely I'll need both of them. Setting probably max C maybe. I mean, he could set blue. He, all his blue boys are gone, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to come back from that mirror force. <laughs> I can't believe I attacked into a mirror force like that. Might have been the right play to do it. I don't know. What is this? Temperance? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, for power, I bet. Wiretap, Breakthrough Skill, Trap Trick Trap All Nightmare, Sanctum, and Trap Trick Trap All Nightmare. Yeah, I don't have an out to that. So he's going to go into power, I bet. Eternity for Spellbook Tower, maybe? Because he had tower in the graveyard. Yeah, he's out of towers and he wants access to tower. Okay. Oh, he's actually using that? Okay. I'll do Trap Trick Trap all Nightmare. Double Nightmare. Cool. If he just sets tower... No, I can't. Beagle Tech and that is only 30,000. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. His life is in the grave as he plays the tower. Do I... Can I play Sanctum? Right, you can't like attack or something? You cannot conduct your battle phase. Do I Sanctum to kill the breakthrough skill? And maybe draw... I don't think I do. No, 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 no. Because if I draw Mermilio, I can just ga 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 cowboy. All right, we'll attack. Set this. Say go. Yeah, because if I drew a level four, I can just go into thirty-two and then go into ga 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 cowboy. So there's no point in using the break in the artifact sanctum there. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Yep. So if he has the ability to search that out, I will not be in a good position. He has one. T all, of, all of his secrets are gone. That's crazy. Now do I summon it? I think I do. And then kill my breakthrough skill. Because I have the wiretap. Now I have a curry bandit. Cool. Do I think he has Torrential in his deck too? Could you imagine that if I just summon this curry band into Torrential Tribute? Let's... <sighs> like it's probably a Wing Blast. Alright, I'm gonna summon the curry bandit. If he taps this, okay. What if he mirror forces? <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, if he has three mirror forces in his deck. All right. Oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay.
What a match. Well, he barely got away from me. Like, I'm going to even tell him. Yeah, that was that was not good. Anyway, we're gonna side deck in the third wiretap, two deep dark trap holes. Side out this needle sailing, yeah. Forces a three. It's not that surprising. It's not that good of a card. It seemed pretty good there though. Yeah, these don't stop anything. Breakthrough skills are fine. Compulse is a little annoying, but you need to keep spell books off the field or spell whatever they're called, magicians off the field. One, two, three. The crow is good on the spellbook of life, which if the game goes long enough is actually pretty good. And the game probably will go long. So I'm going to put that in over one of these. Just one, though. I want to draw one kind of late game when he's going to rely on the spellbook of life, but I don't really want to ever draw two. So we'll see how this works. Solid, reasonable hand. Yeah. This card is so good on the first turn. It's really, really bad after the first turn. But on turn one, first play, doesn't get much better than this. I wonder how many of these he's running. Tower of Secrets Wisdom. It's taking a long time. Does he somehow not have Blue Boy or, or Spellbook of Secrets? Oh, he's thinking about this opening turn. I'm going to play Curry Bandit because I have this whole charge already. Oh. He slow rolls the Spellbook of Secrets? He must have Temperance or something. Yep. Right into Tower. Alright, so he's going to go... Yeah, Temperance into World, bring back the Secrets and the Crescent. Oh, okay, so he's going to bring back the Master and the Secrets. And that's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good. So he has Tower, Secrets, Wisdom, and Master. Yep. That's powerful. Yeah. Yep. So he has Tower, Secrets, Master, Wisdom. All right. Still think I'm going to summon the Curry Bandit because I feel like I'm so far behind. I need to quickly get ahead, and Soul Charge is one of the best ways of doing that. All right. We got there. Hmm. I might get Ignition and use Ignition. I don't know if playing the like the tower game. Oh, he can actually just get the spellbook magician, but that doesn't do it a whole lot. I don't know if trying to play that type of game is really all that good, but I could get, I guess, the sanctum. Hitting the second more beagle tech's annoying because now this beagle tech is basically stuck. I know you can go ignition, kill beagle tech, set moral tech, bring out. Beagle tech, kill moral tech. That does technically work. So maybe getting the ignition is better. And I just don't care about the tower. It's tough. Because he probably has wiretap there too. 
Hmm. Because if I just kill that, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I'm going to take this and I'm going to end my turn. I will end. Yep. I will not try and fight against the avalanche of cards. I just hope there are a bunch of redundant cards and that the cards that matter, the few traps that matter, I can play through. Yep. Attack for a million. These are annoying because it makes my soul charge worse, but not much I can do. He has Secrets Wisdom Master right now. Yep. Um, I guess I'll Torrential bait out the Wisdom. So one of the reasons that's useful is it tells me that this card is the card that's probably more likely to be a real trap. That does matter a little bit. So we'll see how much it ultimately matters because he's going to have fate at the end of all this too, but it could be useful to know that. He can probably just search that as he needs, but it's, it is useful to know. See, he has wisdom back as he needs it. Yep. Yep. Magician. So one of these is going to be Wisdom, the other one's probably Fate. We'll start with Mermilio. We'll get Bottomless. And we will set them all. We will pass. I'm gonna ignition the me the beagle tech. Yeah. Curious what he hits. Sure. I can't. I mean, I could chain ignition to this, but then I'm I'm not really in any position to win. I need to ignition the Beagle Tech. Again, I just have to keep hoping that he draws redundant spell books and that I can sneak through a turn. Yep. Magician is gone. He still has the master, still has the wisdom. He had the fate. Yep. It's kind of hard to keep track of all the spell books he has. The big one here is because okay, so he has the magician. Yeah, he still has the magician. And the secrets is in hand. Yeah, he's got the fate back. 
I might have to war. Oh, man, playing warning there is just rough. Ugh. Uh, I might have to warning this. I go down to 31, and then I take 13. It's going to make it so that the... Yeah. So he just can go into the big thing, and I just can't do anything to it. Because I, like, need to keep the beagle tech and the moral tech to survive... Well, this thing can get hit by a wing blast anyway. All right. Maybe I could hit this and then warning that. I'm afraid, though, that if I kill this prematurely, he's just going to spell Book of Life it. So this way, he can kill one of these. And then my soul charge is pot potentially still alive. That's my thinking here. That, like if I put this into the grave then he just lifes it gets back two things and then probably just blow the field up at that point honestly if he wants to ah lo and behold yeah Yeah, then maybe I should just warning that. Hmm. I think I have to warning this. But like, if I moral tech that out, yeah, I only had two interruptions. That's the problem. Because I could have moral teched the world of prophecy and warning that. Uh, but then I only have 800. And I can still still charge for two. I only have two interruptions. So he's got fate and wisdom. Uh, so we'll soul charge for 2,000. Bringing out some guys. Pallades is a quick effect, so I will use... Um, I guess I kind of want the 2100 defense right now. Pallades. Suppose I will bounce this to hand. This is where he fates. Yep. Probably banishing this. Yep. And we'll pass. Moral. I have I have plenty of morals left. Yeah. Right. One, two. Uh. 
Yeah, he can just get Temperance and a Priestess. Yeah. If I were to just kill that. Because it would be at three. Yep. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Well, he just goes into power or something. Because then I think we knew we had that Magician. Yeah, it's like so hard to keep track. I know he has Wisdom. And whatever it is that he... I know he has World in his hand. And now he has Light. Oh, he has Wing Blast? Yeah, the Wing Blast is what's going to kill me here. Oh, he's going to do this on the Temperance? Hmm. This, the Extra Tower. Hmm. Do I let him go into Priestess? And then I Bottomless? I suppose I will. Yeah, because I don't want him to like draw the priestess, so this at least gets the priestess out of his deck. Yeah, wiretap. I've seen enough. I will keep my deck the way it is. I don't really have any good cards in the side deck for this. Yeah, that was, I mean, I didn't think there's any way to get around that wiretap there. I feel like I want to draw some of my wiretaps. I have three of them. But at least by letting him use that temperance, it gets the priestess out of his deck, which is a good draw. That was the logic there with waiting. All right. All the DN is in the world. Let's mill Mermilio. Okay. I guess I'll get Ignition. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. DN is with nothing, though, is like. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. When he plays Blue Boy, I might just shotgun kill it with Moral Tech. What was the other one he revealed? I had my eyes closed with the first one. It's probably Secrets. I know a tower, so we already had Secrets. Okay. I kind of want him to search Master, and then I just shotgun the Sanctum. All right, I'm going to do this right now. Master, and then Tower. Yeah, that forces the Fate here. Yeah. Did I know he had that, or did he search? Did he just, he literally just naturally drew that? So master, so tower of fate. Hmm. Interesting. It's too bad. Okay, we'll draw. I can soul charge for Zen Mayo. Seems like the best one to do. I think I'll leave the curry bandit in the grave. Doesn't seem useful to bring it out. Just hoping it's like mirror force. Come on, Mirror Force. Nice. Nice. Go ahead. We'll get rid of that. I 
only Zen Mayo is a quick effect. Could you imagine? <laughs> what do I have left? A Beagle and a Moral, right? Beagle, Beagle. I have a Moral in the grave. I think I just search Beagle Tech because I don't want... No, I think I search Moral Tech. Yeah. Because that means all the Sanctums and then even the Ignition is good. Yeah. I could have maybe set a Deanna. Maybe I shouldn't have set Deanna, right? Big brain. Why about Dark Hole? Marmelio. All right. The beat down plan it is. Warning was a good draw. So we're definitely going beat down plan from here. Ugh. That was a good draw. Okay. I might go into Diagusto Emerald just to get some draws. I don't think I have anything that like realistically kills that. Diamond Direwolf seems a bit much though. Thirty-four. I actually think I'm just gonna try and win the game like this. Let him get his extra draw. Attack for thirty-four because thirty-four plus thirty-four is enough to win. All right. Yeah. So I don't think I'm gonna go into anything main phase two. I think I'm just gonna set this and say go. And let him get his extra draw, warning his summon, and then try and attack for game. Uh, that is my goal. I actually have double Deep Trap Hell too, which could play around Wisdom. He summons Blue Boy. Instant warning. Okay, setting back rows. Huh. Okay, that was a good draw, just like generally speaking. We'll try and attack for game now. Mirror Force, Wing Blast. No way. Wow. That's crazy. He must have absolutely nothing. He must be like warning. Okay, I win. Yeah, GG's. This is our third match. So we actually just had three matches. Uh, he crushed me the first match. And I too owed him the second match. I thought this was really close, but yeah, these Crescents, so bad. So bad mid to late game. My gosh. That was a weird one, but... Kind of a crazy one. Man, that Mirror Force, that other game, I'm like, oh, Mirror Force is at one. Attack. Mirror Force, you'll burn. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, seriously. It was good. Anyway, that's Joe Gerlander for Yu-Gi-Oh! History signing off. In the very near future, I promise I will be profiling trap tricks, artifacts, maybe with hands, maybe with Curry Bandit, maybe with something else, maybe with Fire Fist, maybe all of them at some point. Probably won't profile this Spellbook deck in the near future, but I will be profiling Spellbook of Judgment 2013 Spellbooks pretty soon. Anyway, like I said, that's Joe Lander for Yu-Gi-Oh! History. Thank you for watching, and check back soon.